Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually upgrade an evaluation license, which in this case is a standalone product key. For this video, I will be using a Windows 10 virtual machine. Before we get started, I want to look at the end user license agreement. And you can see here that you cannot use a standalone license with the software in a virtual machine. So what I'm doing here is just for demonstration and testing purposes. Generally, you need to manually upgrade an evaluation license when the evaluation period is ending and your machine cannot connect to the Visual Components license server. In my virtual machine, I'll go to the network and internet settings. I'll now click change adapter options and I will disable the network interface card. I'm now no longer connected to the internet close this and now I will run my Visual Components 4.0 product and since I'm using an evaluation license I will be prompted to either upgrade the license or continue the evaluation period so at this point you could click the upgrade button here but I'll show you another path I will click evaluate and this will run the software okay the software is now running from here I'll click the file tab to go backstage click info Click License. Notice I'm using an evaluation license that is good for 14 days and I have the option here to upgrade. One thing to remember about an evaluation license is that you cannot deactivate it. I'll now click Upgrade. This will close the software and restart the activation guide. And you can see here I have now the screen showing that I can upgrade the license. So I'll now click the Upgrade button. I am using a standalone product key. And now I need to enter the perpetual or full license for the software. So I need to remove this product key. I'll now get my full license and paste it here. Then click next. This will validate the product key. It now recognizes that I do not have an active internet connection, so I need to do manual activation. So we have the same four steps I showed you in a previous video. You have to generate an activation request file, submit that file to our license portal. You then need to activate that license and get a license file and then upload it to the software and then click the activate button here. Let's now generate the activation request file and save it. We get a green check mark, so far so good. We now need to take that file and submit it to the website at this location here. I'll open my web browser and go to https license.visualcomponents.net. If you forget the address, you can go to the Visual Components website, which is www.visualcomponents.com. I'll now make my web browser bigger. And at the top right corner, you have a link here called licensing. This will take you to the license portal. From here, you need to log on to your portal account. If you don't have one, you can click register now. I will now log into my account. Okay, I'm now signed into my portal account. From here, you want to click manual licensing. And you now have options to upload that activation request file. So we need to get that file from my virtual machine. I'll minimize this. Now go to my file explorer. I saved the file in the documents. I now copy the activation request file and put it on my main machine. I now upload this file to my portal site. So I'll go back there and click choose file. Select the activation request file and then click open. And now I need to confirm the upload by clicking this button here. You can see the request type is to activate a product key. This is a new request. I'll now click the Confirm button. Right now its status is pending, but just wait. The process is now completed, and I can now download an activated license file. So I'll click the Download File button here. And I now need to put that license file or upload it to the 4.0 product. So I'll we'll minimize this. And now I'll take the license file from my main machine, and copy it, and put it in my virtual machine. Let's now take this license file, 
and we need to complete the third step to upload that license file. So I'll click the Upload button here, select the license file, and then click Open. We've now completed the first three steps, so now what's left to do is just click the Activate button here. And it was successful. So I can now use the Visual Components 4.0 product with my full license. And you can see I have to renew the license in about a year. So I'll click Finish, and now I can use the software. Okay, the software is now running, and to confirm everything worked, I'll click the File tab to go backstage, click Info, click License, and notice I'm no longer using an evaluation license, I'm using a full license. And its activation period ends next year, in my case, but I do have the option here to deactivate it, which I didn't have earlier for the evaluation license. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.